Same time, Center of Heimdall. Oh, excellent! So what else are they doing other than listening to vices? Looks like there's no getting Lino back. Nothing we can do for him now. At least we don't need to worry about him leaking any info. We're all set with Heimdall Bank. We just need to hit the VIP area, right? They're planning a huge sweep of the tunnels tomorrow, right? Yeah, they're gonna declare martial law. They've got their 4th Division here on standby, ready to go. But thanks to our Ramdas, we should be able to wait out the storm. <laughs> we, just need to uh, we just need to keep a close eye on things and watch out, uh, watch out for our chance to escape. So they just expect the Armored Division, once they go Martial Law, to do the sweep? Ooh, that looks like a place I'm gonna fight something. What is this place? One of Heimdall's underground crypts in the Dark Ages, I think. Laryl McGrath. Oh, that's always a good sign. Red grass, down here. What? It's grass. Ooh. Those? Uh, hostile spirits. Activate your ram does. These should be no. Oh, for fuck's sake. Just one of those was a. We're surrounded! Just one of those. <sighs> Just one of those was a pain. Oh, that's always a good sign. child with me, we might have dealt with this together. Between the gnomes and the snakes, there are too many plots in motion for me to stop on my own. Perhaps I need to create more kin. Create more kin. Promising? <sighs> the day Leanne spoke of is close at hand. If nothing else, I must settle matters from 200 years ago before then. I vow it on the name of the final true ancestor, the one that failed to die, Crimson Roselia. I think I saw fangs there. Huh. Oh, isn't that a nice thought? Isn't that a nice thought? Oh, okay. This is truly an honor. Woo. Here, a reward. Bellion Cross, and... This is truly an honor. First class. Here, a reward. Red Star Lionheart... Red Star Lionheart Medal. I'm guessing I'm going to miss out on the last one, probably. Probably miss too many random little things. Keep it up. Yeah. Mugs, thank you, gifts. Woo. And you, material. Phoebe's... Phoebe. <laughs> she just took a picture of herself. <laughs> Uh, what can I send, Reen? Oh, shoot. Uh, I, I don't have anything. Oh, here. Here's a selfie I took with my sister. Uh, a fucking course. That's even weirder. That's the, She's a student at a different school. That's the weirdest one yet, man. Celestin come with us? I don't remember Celestin coming with- Okay. They definitely didn't come with us, so... Fun. Hmm. After we captured those three agents yesterday, the rest of them seem to have become even more wary. Our reports say that a large number of them have collected their listening, uh, listening equipment and entered the underground tunnels. 
Yeah, as soon as Summer Festival starts up, we're gonna lose them all in Swamp Tourist. It sucks, but the only way we're gonna avoid that is by using martial law on the Imperial Army. But if we bring the army into it, it will no longer matter whether the agents are dead or alive. We need to consider international opinion, too. Not to mention, it would cause the citizens to panic right before the Summer Festival. Assuming you can finish it before the Summer Festival, I sort of assume martial law would mean the Summer Festival's basically out of the picture. I'd much prefer to settle this with arrest than with tanks. Agreed. Well, working with the main campus and the guild, we'll snatch them, uh, we'll snatch them all up one way or another. The entire branch campus will unite to take care of this crisis. Thank you. I thank you for your support as well, Lady the Gwyn, Professor Smith. I've also sent a few new special requests I'd like you to take a look at later. Understood. Did someone lose a cat? Please contact us if anything comes up. I certainly will, thank you. Hopefully all the requests are, like, more on the urgent side this time. All right, let's go over our plans. As of this morning, the professor's communication wave amplifiers have been sent to both the main campus and the guild. First off, Orlando's team and mine will split up and go down the unexplored tunnels in the west side of Heimdall. There, we'll set up the communication network while we hunt down and dispose of Republic agents. Arresting. We're arresting them, remember? Seems like they got some crazy new gear called Ram to them. However, it appears they've only been recently developed, so then uh, they've not yet mastered its use. If the General and Orlando are in the field, I'm certain to put the tune on too, when we know we shoot. True, but on the flip side, if they've got any uh, more guys than that, there's no guarantee you'll survive. Ramda, Ramda though. Huh. I wonder if that's what they'll have for the next arc. Or for, what is it, Hajimari? Uh, origins or beginnings or whatever that is, the, uh, the final one for the Cold Steel Crossbow arcs. Uh, there's no guarantee you'll survive. Oh, I suppose I won't hold back then. No, oh, my goodness. Um, the safety of the students should be our top priority. So please try and make sure you arrest the agents. Thank you for contacting us, Major Arndell. If there's any further movement, please let us know. You got it. Well, good luck, everyone. With this operation, and with Class 7's new and old. Ah. Well, we're on that subject. You got to talk about a lot of things yesterday, didn't you? Yeah, what are your friends gonna be doing? They split up across the city to gather information. They might have found something, so if we run into any of them, we should check in. Got it. So I'll be patrolling the entire city. We'll need to determine where the agents are headed somehow. Alright, day two of our field exercises has begun. Let's get to it. Our time limit is 4 p.m. If the agents are not apprehended by then, martial law will be invoked. We will have results by then, and the sirens won't... The sirens will not be ringing today. Yes, ma'am! Woo! This should be fun. Ah, uh, seems pretty serious. We're up against Calvert Special Forces, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Yes, Principal Relly and Instructor Randolph are both very experienced. Tita's upper gear will finally be deployed in actual battle as well. <laughs> I'm glad we participated in the testing then. <laughs> Looks like it'll be fun. Uh, it so does patrol around the city. Let's check the requests. Oh boy. All semi required. Saint Strayus. Distress. Uh, the sooner stain as dry as uh, girl skill have been uh, facing a rather serious issue. We are too shorthand to deal with it ourselves. I'd like to ask for help. Please meet at the girl school, uh, the girl school student council president for more details. Sure, why not? The Heimdall Airport received a package with no address on it. Might we ask for your help? Please contact Simmons at the airport cargo department for more details. Okay, cool. That's where I should be able to get that last Becky, right? A dangerous monster has appeared beneath the high uh, uh, has be appeared beneath Heimdall. City Hall formally requests the monster's elimination. Mega Kraken, the Mega Kraken. Oh shoot! Uh, if you can spare the time, patrol the uh, Heimdall Airport in Corel Imperial Villa. A request from the girl school. I'm patrolling the Heimdall Airport. It seems like we should go to the Corel Imperial Villa as well. Yep, we may find some clues there. 
taking into account the two places we didn't check yesterday, we'll need to patrol every block. All right, let's begin the second day of our special operations missions. Yes, sir. Woo. Rest for the second day of the field exercises are all semi-required requests. You'll be able to rest the story once you've completed at least two of these. Meaning we're going to be doing all of them. Oh boy. Okay, Sandy, I should be able to give her her thing. Yeah. We have three, this should be enough. Sandy, we brought the ingredients. This is everything you needed, right? The appearance, the aroma. Oh, just like the memo on the recipe, uh, that the recipe said. Ha, let's hear it. Here you are. Okay. Wow, you found three? Thank you. All right, let's get cooking. Cool. This might be a bad time for this. She just let me finish it yesterday and let her, uh, have, like, actually do this at, like, a reasonable time. Rather than when they're, like, propping to basically go for a mini war down in, a, in the underground. <laughs> We're moving to this music. Sure. Okay, sure. So she called you and Tito over to... <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Wow, it smells amazing. Yeah, it sure does. Mm, well, I'll be finished cooking soon. Alrighty, all done. Bon appetit! Here we go, everyone. Uh, here we go, everyone. Bon appetit. It's the ultimate dish passed down in my hometown. Ulster. Lenheim Misoto. Lenheim? Uh, I feel like I've heard that name before. Could it be? Nope, nothing ringing a bell. Ha, well, let's put that aside for now. Taking in what's uh, so warm. Alright, let's eat. Lenheim. Is that your family name? Thank you for the food. Oh my, one blink and all our plates were picked suddenly clean. How do I even describe it? The flavor and smell were both so deep. Agreed. I didn't expect such a magnificent dish. Oh, well, it's light to me. Definitely good, though. Yeah, it's amazing. But you said it was called Lenheim Risotto. Oh! <laughs> yep, okay. That's the same name Prince Oliver uses when he dresses as a performer. Oh, that's where I remember it from. Well, actually, there's a reason for that. The truth is, the one who created this recipe was named Ariel Lenheim. She's the late mother of Prince Oliver. Oh! Okay, are you related to him, then? The prince's mother? That's a bit shocking, actually. So you know, Mr. Prince, then. Uh, sorry. I didn't really mean to keep it from you guys or anything, but... My hometown, Ulster, is also the hometown of Prince Oliver's mother. So it's also where the prince grew up. Oh, I see. I had no idea. Neither did I. I'm sure my brother would have known. We now know that you and the prince share a hometown, but... How did he end up with a recipe from the prince's mother? Well, you see, Ulster is a fairy. Small town out in the countryside. Everyone who lives there knows each other. We're practically one big family. Miss Ariel used to help out at my family's inn all the time. So that she wrote down the recipe passed down through her family and thus uh, lef uh, left us her notes. I see. It makes it all makes sense now. Thank you so much for the food. I'm sure Prince Oliver would have liked to try it too. Oh yes, if I ever have the opportunity, I'd love to prepare this for him. I'm sure. I'll be sure to let him know the next time I see him. And he's suddenly just like on the branch campus's like doorsteps. Oh, thanks, Tita. Oh, by the way, there's still plenty left over. I'll pack it to go, so please take some with you. With pleasure. Cool. Legendary recipe. Lenheim risotto. So how good is it? How good? Is it? Not bad. Not bad. Not amazing, but not bad. Definitely not bad. Oh my goodness, are you... Oh, so are you the people that are going to be manning this place? No, oh, I've had things kicked off. Becky came to help out the field exercise camp, huh? Aye, don't have to mean to say a bunch of times like this. Although, mashallah, should ask Ava to push the government this far. Anyway, taking over management of materials for the branch camp students. He's, uh... Use the shot, I didn't need anything. Anything at all. Of course, thank you. Check our equipment just in case. Really? Okay. Alright there. Uh, all this too. 
Okay, cool. All the Beckys do. Was the Beckys? Hope to see okay, you cool. again. Yeah, hope to see you too. Okay, cool. I think that's where I'm going to call for a day, though. Recording. Three and a half hours, a little bit more. So, yeah, things are starting to escalate, little by little. It wouldn't be the end of a Trails game without things escalating to hell on high and nothing ever being the same again. Do I expect a cliffhanger? Yes, I expect a cliffhanger. What else would be new? So, I'll see y'all next time. Drive safely, everyone. And hello, and welcome back to Trails of Cold Steel 3. Let us continue from where we left off. Are we heading right to Heimdall? Oh, so are we gonna head to the villa by- Oh, right, we need to go there first, right. What about the monster monster on the ground? Right, I forgot about what we actually had to do. Now it'd be faster if we ride a special train from Heimdall Station to get to the villa. Since the Walnut Monster is on the ground, it needs to head out from either the cemetery or the race course. Arrangements should have been made that will allow us to deploy from either way. Speaking of which, weren't there several forks in our path that we didn't take during our chase yesterday? Was there? Indeed. The Walnut Monster must be lurking in one of those. Yeah, yeah, we get it. Let's just get a move already. Well, if we were chasing them, then it's probably the latter half, meaning the graveyard's probably better. Oh, wow. Lots of options. Okay, we're allowed to go down here? Okay, cool. Okay. Wanted monster time. They're all semi-required, so it really shouldn't matter what order we do them. Do be careful. That enemy's strong. Be on guard. It's strong. It's down. At one... They were no match for us. Oh, <laughs> what a battle. That's good. Good. All good. Yep, no objections from me. Yeah, I did. Yeah, quite a battle. <laughs> there. Well, that certainly looks like a monster. It's powerful. Huh. We must there. take care. What is there. that? Hey it's like a giant little mouth there. Oh, that's creepy. Watch out. This is a tough one. So it seems. Arcus, activate! My turn! Uh, ha! Let's go! Ha! Yeah! My mind is clear. My blade, empty. Now! <laughs> ha! Seven to flash! Shredded leaves! Uh, that's it okay. Is that a delay? <laughs> that's a an opening delay. Now. It's definitely a delay. Okay. Very well. You know what? Uh, I suppose put uh, one of these on. And let's put one of the weaker ones on. Let's go! Raging fire formation! Very well. There! Now, Altina! Understood. Behold, the dual blades of Vander! Now! Uh, I'll end it! Ha! Ragnar, strike! Ooh, blinded. That's good. Enhance less so. It's my turn. Mm. 
Break through! Sledgehammer! It's my turn! Technically, it's all the way back up, eh? Okay. Time barrier! Break! So, yeah. up. That did a bit of damage. It's my turn! Let's go! Good luck! I'm up! Now... Take this! Here's dessert! That's what you get for being careless! Woo! I shall go. Charging. Let's go! Ha! Eight's down! I'll assist! Yeah! Now! Arc is activated! Very well! Ha! Eight's down! I'll assist! Yeah! Here I go! Where are we at? Nearly there? Time barrier! Break! Now! Charging. Let's go. Yeah. Very well. Let's go. I got this. What well, unbalances best? That does technically unbalance the best. Now, hate this. Here's dessert! That's what you get for being careless. It's down! That is it's like mine. that is like Ash's best move. Hands again. <laughs> Strength depleted. I'm sorry. Ooh. Damn it! Wow! Don't give up! <laughs> Thanks. This is nothing. Wow! My apologies. Leave it to me. Wow. Wow. Um. How much does I have left? Nine thousand. Let's go. Raging fire formation. It's my turn. <sighs> Spirit unification! I'm up! That hurt, though. That definitely hurt, though. It's just not right there. This is it! Give him an extra turn so we can use... Yeah. One more! I'll finish it. So was that an auto kill or did he just do enough damage to bring her down? Let's go. Arcane. Gale. <sighs> Everyone okay? Yeah, that could have gone much worse. If I let him hit more than that one time. Wow. We're okay though. We're okay. Oh, I'm getting a call as I a oh, quick travel out of the uh, place. Wonder who that could be. I said it's speaker mode. Hello, Reen. Oh, hey. Instructor Schwarzer, what is the status of your special ops missions? Yeah, just finished one. They're calling from camp. We've begun our patrols of each area. I'm guessing everything's ready in your end. Yep, yeah, finally got all the ducks in the row here. We're about to leave camp, so we thought we'd check in with you before we left. Understood. Tell those guys in combat tactics to make sure they don't screw anything up. Please, Kate, please take care of everyone from military finance as well. You be careful yourself, Randy. What's that, Will, Juni? Same to you. What's that, Will, Juni? Same to you. By the way, it appears the main campus has begun its own investigation. Leave it the underground to us and focus on making progress above ground. Understood. May the goddess go with you. Good luck. We asked Allison to take care of things here at camp, so he'll be here if you need anything. 
We'll be in touch if anything happens. It's time to commence the operation. Jessica and Louise are... Jessica and Louise are helping track the special unit. Oh, they'll be okay. Don't worry. They've made it through just as much as we have. Don't worry. They've made it through just as much as we have. I'm sure with the principal they go in and instruct Randy there with them, they'll be just fine. You're right. Let's have faith in them. We need to focus on our own duties now. <laughs> no need to tell me twice. Let's get going. Okay. Okay, I properly fast traveled to where I was going. Okay, time to get some CP. Oh! Oh, that's why they have that. So we're gonna go talk to people in class 7 as part of the uh, rounds. Okay, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. Sure, okay, that's why it has exclamation points on so many places. It does mean a few are being not covered, though, so... Woo. Yeah, speaking of which, I should probably go there first, actually. Just to make sure. Okay, here it is. So, something I've never actually done. And it was pointed out to me, so thank you very much. Uh, and I think I previously said, I don't know if I edited it out or I have edited it out or not. Was that someone mentioned that I needed all these for the final one. It was pointed out to me again that this was the case. Apparently it has to do with Kurt's mother. Uh, and the only ones that I'm aware of not having are these four. And apparently you need all the cards prior to that in order to open it up. Which is, you know, if it's just a matter of coming and buying them while I'm here, sure. It's one of those things where it's been... It's not been hard enough to really been, like, a proper challenge challenge. So I guess they've done a decent job at making it not something that you need to get too, too invested in. Despite it being a more complicated system in order to actually progress with it properly. So I do think they've done a pretty good job of that. So a lot of my fears at the beginning with that have been... Not... An issue, basically. Oh, a quest, maybe? I did talk to you guys before, and you were like, Oh, we're not prepared to open shop yet. Did you find him? No, not yet. It's no use. I, just, I should just contact the military police and... Hmm? Is something wrong? You appear to be in distress. Uh, who are you? We're with Thor's Military Academy's branch campus. We've come to the capital for our field exercises. Explain. Honey, maybe we can ask these people. Uh, yeah, good idea. You guys in trouble or something? Yes, we can't find our son anywhere. His name is Artem. He's only seven years old. The reason we came to Erebonia in the first place was open to Saul during the summer festival. Now this has happened. Guards over there didn't see him. <gasps> Could have gone to another district. I hope not. The city is huge. We're in Dread to Plaza? Then over there is Saint District. Oh, it's no use without a map. We're the ones who are going to get lost. Instructor, these people. Yeah, they seem to be tourists who aren't familiar with the city. Well, merchants. Tourists, maybe. It'll be really hard to, uh, for them to find their missing child under these circumstances. We'll just have to help them find them then. We'll just have to help find him then. Yes, that is the proper decision. Excuse me, we are patrolling the city. Maybe we can help, really. Yeah, this is pretty early on in my patrolling the city, too, so. Thank goodness. Please find our son, Artem. Yes, you can leave it to us. You said he's seven years old. Anything else you can tell us? Um, well, Artem is very energetic and a bit mischievous. Oh, and he's really fascinated with the Orville trams. That's right, he's even more surprised by them than we were. Okay, but how about what he looks like and... He kept begging uh, to let him take a ride on one. Ha, <laughs> it's probably another district by now. Yeah, the two districts next to Dracos Plaza are Saint and Laika. We have no idea where he could have gone. Uh, gotten off to. There's no time to waste. Let's go around the city and ask the people near the tram stops. Eh, yesterday was a bird, today's a kid. At least it won't be a misunderstanding this time. Alright, we got a plan. Let's start searching. He may come back on his own, so please stay here. Uh, okay. Thank you. Please find, please find Artem. Okay. I'll do that as I make my rounds. Where'd, uh, where'd he go? Where'd Kenneth go? Finally, the day of the exhibition match. Oh, if I will merge victorious no matter what! Yay! That being said, I feel awkward being back at headquarters. The whole engagement debacle caused trouble for the family, and the head of the household doesn't like me. Yeah, it's still nice to me, but... Headquarters? Wait, were you set up to be engaged to Kenneth? I do vaguely remember you having, like, an engagement thing, and... Fuck, man, it's been a long time. Was it Kenneth? Or is, am I not understanding what she's saying in terms of who's 
uh, impact it correctly. Ooh. Plotting anything? Hmm. Was this spot any better? It's no use. The mana's starting to act like a whirlpool. Yeah, almost like something's drawing it in. Ooh, drawing it into where, though? Hmm. Either way, this isn't good. Drawing it in. Haha, <laughs> that's always a good sign. Come on, don't you think this is too cold for us? Emma? Laura? What's going on? Astra's just like, hey, come on, this is a little too far for the series, isn't it? <laughs> Looks like you've already started. I'm going to support Emma today. I searched the spirit veins around the capital again, but since last night, there's been an alarming amount of turbulence. It's limited to when the Infernal Castle showed up about a year and a half ago. <gasps> That's not good. Wait, both of them are confused? Okay. Really? Um, wasn't that during the Civil War? That mirage that everyone uh, in the capital saw? Oh yeah, Mirage, definitely. Wink, wink. It wasn't a Mirage. I saw it very clearly. As did I from the girls' school. Many people have vague memories of that incident. I believe it was some sort of cognitive manipulation. Anyway, the Vermilion Knight was at the core of making the Infernal Castle from 250 years ago reappear. I think this time the circumstances are very different. What do you mean? I don't know, but the capital is often a focal point for events behind the scenes. But there are incidents of the Night Touch... The what? The Night Touch. 50 years after the War of the Lions, for example. Night Touch? Ah, uh, some stories call them vampires. Oh my. Is that what she is? That woman? But we call them the Night Touch. Or Nagfamilia, to be more precise. There are fiends who corrupt humans and turn them into their own. <laughs> hey now, that sounds like something way too out of a fairy tale. But there are stories about vampires in the capital. Indeed, like the Red Moon's, uh, the Red Moon Rose novels. Oh, okay. Hmm, I think I borrowed this from the library. Did you read them? Because I didn't. <laughs> They're based on incidents that happened uh, that happened in the capital 200 years ago. Hmm, what is it? Uh, nothing. Just tell us. What's the harm? Like, come on, Emma. You keep so many secrets. God damn it. Well, there was this thing that happened 900 years ago. The capital surrounded by miasma, and out of the, uh, out came the worst cryptid to ever live, the dark dragon, Zora uh, Agriga. Oh, are we saying that dragon is a cryptid? Interesting. Okay. That name. Two hundred two years ago, those of us in Group A fought that in the catacombs. Right, I do remember that. You fought it before? It was being controlled by an artifact wielded by a terrorist leader. Yeah, the demonic flu. That means the bone dragon is all that remains of it. Yeah, the dark dragon's miasma turned the capital into a city of death about 900 years ago. The emperor had to move the capital to St. Ark. A hundred years later, Emperor Hector activated Testarossa and defeated the Dark Dragon. He reclaimed the capital, but at great cost. Covered in the dragon's blood, he lost his life, and the Vermilion Knight was and the Vermilion Knight was cursed. That about covers it, right? So if the Vermilion Knight was the thing that like birthed the castle last time, is it because of the connection to the Dark Dragon? Could they have like cursed something else? Maybe replicated that in another uh Another Divine Knight that they made? You are well informed, Reen. Have you been reading the Black Records? Have you been reading the Black Records, haven't you? I thought that knowledge was only passed down orally by the witches. I got to witness it firsthand. But now I see. It's all connected. Yes, everything that was hidden till now is coming to full, uh, full view. I think I'm gonna get dizzy. The magic knights in the Pleroma grass from yesterday might have something to do with it. Yes, the spirit veins seem to be stimulating the scarlet Pleroma grass to grow. If that's true, then we have more than just the spies to worry about. <laughs> I don't really like this a cool crap. Thank you for all your help, Emma, Laura, Celine. I'll update you with any news on our end. Alright, good luck. Thank you. Be careful, all of you. 
Okay. Is there anything I can give to them? Like... Oh, my. <laughs> well, at least they're smiling. Okay, that's all. That's really, really fucking weird. She's right there! She's literally there! Can I just give it to her now? Uh... Dracus Blas is where all the spirit veins meet. Okay. Doing something similar to what they did with Tio. Back in Crossbell. Oh! Is that what Ash said there? Yeah, that's great and all, but I'm more interested in the bottom of those dig old bitties. <laughs> oh, that's actually... Dig old bitties. Okay, I should have paid attention. <laughs> is everything going well on your end? If something happens, I'm one of the people who's supposed to be contacted. Speaking of Captain Arsane, the nonsense played a part in this operation. That's not all. There are some Arsane and Venice Dive students offering their assistance to. Given that the primary Venice Dive training all is here in Heimdall, I imagine we'll have no shortage of aid. That is true. My, my mother's never been the type to sit back and watch. You know, especially, you know, back during the Civil War. <laughs> Good. Then we are of a like minds. Nonetheless, a surplus of allies is not a guarantee to victory. Please keep me posted to something un uh, unseen arise. What? I picked a good day to record this. So apparently there's a whole event in Crossbell I missed where... Uh, Bennett gets told that he's going here to... Uh, train. Huh. Why? Why should something like this shock me? Huh. Having fun with some cute girl? You're slacking off, Oscar. <laughs> this is my opportunity to overtake him. Bennett, good luck with that. Oh... I should be happy. I'm not sad at all. Aww. Aww. She's just been standing out here mumbling that to herself since last night, hasn't she? There's been a girl, like, weirdly mumbling to herself outside. It's cute. I tried to talk to this girl who was in front of the store, but she ran away. She looks so distraught. I hope she's okay. Aww. Uh, do you know? See that girl who's loitering in front of the store? She reminds me of Fanny. Oh, but it couldn't be. Does this mean I'm homesick? It might be working! In a weird way, it might be working! <laughs> oh. oh, there you are. Well, if it isn't the little branchlings, I've heard the whole story. Crazy to think that they might actually enact martial law, right? How are you privy to all this? Well, the army told me to keep it quiet, but... How am I supposed to report on Summer Festival with all this going on? I even heard they found listening devices in HQ. Well, we don't know if it's related, but, like I said, crazy. I can't just sit back and let all this happen. Listen, everyone, I mean, help, uh, help out however I can. We can work together and put things right. Well, we're glad you've got our back, baby. But stay safe. It is dangerous out there. I can see her following us underground if we didn't stop her. Haha, <laughs> oh, please, I wouldn't go that far. I'll just camp at the entrance uh, to the underground. Please, please don't. Oh. That's not a good sign. Okay, who's who's taking out the Bracer Guild? You two? Okay. You have you had a reunion here just last night, correct? Ha! <laughs> Looks like the guild's doing alright for having been stomped out of the country for years. Hey! You got some customers! Oh, is that Toval? Been a while. That's oh, them. Ah, oh, perfect timing! Get over here, too, you guys! Uh, uh, okay. Pardon our intrusion. Okay, sure. Why not? No objection. Sup, Reem? Got your new sevens with you, huh? Hello, Tovel. Agon. It's good to see you again. Hey, are you guys... At the Alto Street... At the Alto Street branch? Okay, yeah, that's where it was. I remember there being a guild branch. I thought it was on the main street, but I guess not. If I recall, Heimdall used to have two Bracer Guild offices. Yep, the one's ris uh, that one's risen from the ashes right alongside this one. We were testing out the terminals the Foundation gave us. Ah, cool. I'm here too. Good to see you, everyone. Oh, hey, Tio. Are you in a crossbow still? Tio? 
All right, she is part of the Epstein Foundation. I came here on a business trip for the Foundation. Just arrived last night. Randy filled me in on everything that's going on. Really? Okay. Well, everyone's gathering, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, it is a pretty tough situation. She's already agreed to help us out. Plan is to have her set up signal boosters for our comms network. That'll be a big help. Thanks, Miss Chief. Yeah, thanks. Don't worry about it. The guild has helped us out a lot in the past. You can leave the underground tunnel southeast of the city to me. Ah, uh, to us. Me, Tolan, two other bracers, and this lady here. We're all on par with A-rank bracers, so we're pretty much like a special ops force of our own. That is... amazing. <laughs> if you're all that crazy strong, I'm surprised the government let you open up shop here again. Eh, I'm sure they've got some dastardly ulterior motives, but we decided to go ahead with it anyways. Besides, if a bracer manages to nab the spies, they'll be subject to international law rather than being put in Erebonian custody. Or so they say. I'll go to. I should be able to help out at least a bit. Well, here's the thing. If it's anything like last time, they'll have something set up in order to catch them before you guys can properly catch them, right? Got it. Please stay safe out there. Thanks for helping us in the main campus with this. Sure thing. See ya. Good luck out. Good luck out there yourselves. It appears the bracers waste no time taking action. Sarah and I are deployed here. The others are in the southeast area. Kind of like how the main campus and the branch campus are split up. I am told bracers are extremely familiar with underground exploration. Or are they ever? Out of curiosity, who are the other two bracers with you guys? One is named Wenzel. He's a homegrown Erebonian bracer. The name sounds familiar. The other, no, uh, the other one is one of Agate's friend, uh, friends from the barrel. She even has a title. List over streak. Oh, come on. Let's talk to her. Oh, uh, she. They probably don't have a model for this game or something. She's really skilled. Kind of reminds me of Sarah in a lot of ways. Well, we're about the same age and have similar backgrounds. We even have a drinking. We even had a drinking competition once, and she completely destroyed me. Oh my. The thought that there's someone out there who can drink you under the table legitimately frightens me. But anyway, it sounds like you'll have things well handled here. That's right, don't worry your pretty little heads about a thing. Honestly, the agents probably aren't even the biggest threat lurking around here. If not them, then who? What are you talking about? Our Boros and the Jaegers. They may be laying low now, but it's possible they're waiting for a distraction. That's... You're right, we cannot be sure they will not act. We also don't know what sort of things uh, the behind-the-scenes group, like the Black Workshop, are up to. And with Angelica missing, it's all the more important we cover our blind spots. <laughs> I can see why the Bracer Guild slogan is the supporting gauntlet. Yeah, and why the Imperial Government and the Intelligence Division are so scared of you guys. However, this time they are relying on them. Yeah, please cover the places we can't get to ourselves. Yep, just leave it to us. If something comes up, contact me right away. I'm good to go whenever. Okay. Thanks, guys. Should be interesting. I hear the prince handpicked 30 of the main campus's finest to deal with this. He's even outfitted them all with shiny, new, state-of-the-art detection devices. Really? Huh. Cedric being the prince, right? For a second, I was thinking Oliver. Well, that's one way to counter those new ornaments. Talk about throwing Mir at the problem, though. How did they manage to deploy so fast? When the prince gives the order, you don't mess around. I imagine Instructor Nightheart is under a, a lot of stress right now. Ah, he's probably loving it. That man never liked things to be too easy. <laughs> uh, my pen? Society's side, I don't think the Jaegers would be behind all this. I just can't see them going after state secrets. True, it's hard to believe that they're, uh, they'd be motivated by anything other than Mira. Still, with a, uh, with a rich enough client, anything's possible. We just need to keep our eyes open. That is precisely what we intend to do. Good. Okay. Off to the next one. This is Irving. Do you read me? Oh, okay. Hey. It seems the connection went through after all. Hello, Principal Major. Loud and clear. Are you testing the comm network from down uh, below? 
But Major, if you're at camp, then... Are you both calling me from two different locations at the same time? I'm currently serving as backup for her team. Our current status is as follows. The principal search team has detained several foreign agents from uh, the underground. Good job! That was fast. We're in the process of handing them over to the RMP. You're kidding. Seven of them. We had a hard enough time with three. <laughs> that is our principal. I was hurt, I hope. Everyone is fine. The agents, however, are behaving strangely. In what way? We didn't see signs of the unusual acceleration you noted before. They didn't use a rammed up, whatever you call it, to conceal their presence either. We made quick work suppressing them. The change only began after detaining them. Several cannot speak or behave as though they're afraid of something. Afraid? Them? That makes no sense. You sure it wasn't just you who made them piss their pants? <laughs> I'll admit I was expecting a little more out of them. Just keep it in mind. We'll be doing the same. We'll do. You be careful. So it has to do with those... Whatever those things were called. The Nosferatus? Yeah. I'm so glad they're okay, but... But what they said was weird. What made the special force change so rapidly? Well, there's nothing we can do about it from here. Let's leave that uh, investigation to them and keep, uh, keep up our own work. Yes, Instructor. Yep, like I said, keep it in mind. They seem to be throwing a lot of uh, cutscenes at the transitions, so... Ooh. More, uh, oh, I see a, a thingy. That's not a child. This person seems to walk around the tram station a lot. Oh, that's where we are? Maybe we can ask her about the missing boy. Let's ask her. Oh yes, I believe I saw a boy earlier. He got off at the Imperial Museum and seemed quite excited to go in. I was actually wondering where his parents were. Ha, <laughs> bingo. Do you know where he went? Well, actually, since the museum was closed today, he looked a little disappointed. He got back on the tram and went somewhere else. What? He got back on the tram? Then he must have gone to another district. Ah, <sighs> there are other stops in Leica, but that is a natural conclusion. Do you know which tram it was? Let's see. He was headed on the tram, headed to Heimdall Station via Vanquare Street. Heimdall Station via Vanquare Street. In that case, where could have he gone? Well, he could have gotten off anywhere along the way. We could start with Vanquare. At the very least, we know which direction he went. Ah, gotcha. let's get going. Uh, thank you. You're very welcome. A lost child is a big deal. I hope you find him soon. Thank you. Now, if he sees us. So, actual directions. <laughs> I don't know where each of these are in this city. I wish I had a more in-depth map of the city. I think that would help in a lot of ways, actually. Just like getting a feel for the layout of everything. And such. This is... Oh, hey! Everyone, it seems we're in a dire situation. Mother, you must have known about this. What is this presence I feel? <laughs> it is as you imagine. While it may have been chief, Vander still serves as his country's blade. Such a large scale conflict cannot hide in the shadows. Precisely. Master Aria, and us two top disciples will participate in the operation. Will the military approve of this? <laughs> We've leveraged Vander's connections. Oh, that was good. Never mind. Uh, we'll be participating as members of the guild. If we're to maintain peace in Heimdall, we must offer our assistance. I see. Well, that's comforting to know. Taking actions when necessary, they don't disappoint. Well, we already knew about this, technically. <laughs> not bad. Their defenses are solid. I'm leaving this to you. I yes. Leave it to us, dude. <laughs> Wait, why? Leave it to us, dude. Yeah, dude. Don't be so tense. You are all proud Vander Swordsmen. If you're in a pinch, follow your heart. I yes. So are we I'm, I'm forgetting how it's pronounced. It's been a while. Yes. Okay, everyone. I wish you luck in your endeavors. I have no qualms. Uh, the summer festival will proceed without incident. Yes. Thank you for your kind words. Ben, Rayfon, let's go. Understood. Yes. Okay. 
She's so cool! The Storm Watcher. She is truly an impressive character. Yes, Otto needs a lot of family, but she's certainly respectable. I hope one day I'll be just like her. Yeah, Zoo, training has been really tiring lately, but... Now I remember what all this training's for. Dude! That seems everyone's raring to go now. But let's proceed. We cannot lose to everyone, uh, everyone else. Ha! So I guess we'll get back to patrolling. Interesting. 